What is up, YouTubers? So I have a questions from the toolbox episode today for you. And if you don't know, this is kind of a new series I'm doing where I'm trying to do shorter videos to where I can answer someone's question and not do as, uh, as long format of a video as I normally do. And I'm definitely one that can take a five minute conversation and turn it into five hours. So it's a way for me to get more content out that's relevant, answer some of your questions and talk about stuff that I wouldn't otherwise normally talk about, especially welding processes and all sorts of stuff that I may not have access to, uh, access to due to cost. So anyways, today's question comes from a viewer and it's, uh, he wanted to know some tips for welding uh, thin to thick or thick to thin metal with stick. And I sort of have covered this in a couple of videos. I'll put the links in the description dealing with running mini rods. And I did cover this with flux core. I'll put the link in the description for that as well because that's all relevant. But that's what we're going to be talking today about is uh, welding thick to thin with stick. So I can tell you right off the bat, the number one thing you need to get yourself if you're even attempting to weld, say, 1 16th or up to maybe an eighth inch steel is to get mini stick electrodes. So they come in all sorts of flavors and sizes. You have 6013, 7014, 6013 again for these. They make uh, the two most common sizes are 1 16th and 5 64th. This is 5 64th. They even make 7018 and 1 16th as well. I don't have those out here, but I do have some. I personally would recommend if you're trying to weld really thin material to go with 6013 or 6011. 7014 isn't too bad of a rod to use for that. Uh, that is an option, but these are going to be a little bit harder to find, I think, because you can go down to the local Harbor Freight and get these 1 16th rods. So let's get this out of the way and let's talk about the metal. His question in specific had to do with welding eighth inch to quarter, which that's easily done. You could almost do that with a 332nd rod. Uh, you could definitely, my recommendation would be to use a 564th rod for that. And this is eighth, this is quarter. And on a fillet weld, you'd have no issue. And a lap weld would be super easy uh, in that case. Now, the problem becomes when you're trying to weld 1 16th, which is what this is to quarter inch. And I'm going to tell you right now, that is going to be a challenge uh, that you're going to need a fair amount of stick welding skills to do, even with the mini rods. Because what you're going to find is, is that you can weld quarter inch with stick all day long, and maybe you can weld uh, the 1 16th, but man, oh man, when you try and weld both of those together, the heat appropriate to get any fusion into the quarter is probably going to blow through the 1 16th. And how you, I guess, how do I put it, avoid that issue is you're going to have to do things that are kind of uncommon. And let me show you. Now, this is eighth inch steel on quarter, but the same would hold true with uh, thinner material. One of the things you're going to find is, and now I got this little mini rod right here, you're going to have to probably run a rod angle that's more or less, rather than trying to hit like halfway or slightly favor the upright plate if it's thinner than the thicker one, you're going to have to come in here like this and basically weld to where your arc is more or less hitting this plate, the thicker of the two, more than the top plate. It may also help if you run your bead out actually like a gap from the thinner and then you kind of bring the arc over and then back off to where the heat and the arc stays more on this and you're basically kind of only weaving into the thinner material. That's one technique that may work. Another thing that will help get some fusion into this bottom plate is if you preheat the quarter inch with a torch and leave the thinner, like the 1 16th, ice cold. And that will help you because you'll get a little bit, it's not much, but a little bit better fusion into the thicker, which may allow you to run colder settings to buy you more time from blowing a hole in the thinner material. So you're going to have to experiment with odd rod angles, with a weaving technique, 
And uh, I'll be honest, like stick is not the process to be doing one sixteenth to quarter. Flux core wire can do it so much easier. It's almost a joke for the average person to do that with one sixteenth, but but uh, with flux core. But stick, uh, you're in for a battle. Now rod selection wise, I personally would probably try sixty eleven first, but that's me. I find that these sixty thirteen rods. The amount of flux that comes off is almost like three times as much as you need and the probability of slag inclusion is almost guaranteed with these. You have to run these at about 50 to 60 amps to not get that slag inclusion problem. The problem with that is you're going to blow a hole straight through the 16th. So I'm not going to joke. It's a tough challenge. It's doable. But like I said, I mean, even though it is doable, uh, it's not something I would really care to do when you're talking one sixteenth to quarter, but eighth to quarter, definitely doable. Use 560 forts rods, buy them on Amazon. Once you get a feel for it, you'll be able to do it. And the best way to prepare for it, I guess, and to know if you're in the ballpark of settings is run beads on the thinner material to where you know you got a solid bead to where everything's looking good and then up your amperage by about five percent then weld it to quarter so it's you need to understand what amperage the thinnest needs first and then up it a little bit to get fusion to the thickest i know that's somewhat of a vague answer but the truth is is that i could spend all day explaining how to do this and do art footage and that and i'm not joking you're still going to fail a ton attempting this until you actually get a feel for what you need to do. So it really comes down to you're going to have to practice if you want to do that a lot to get it just right. And that's why like, it really goes to show the right welding process for what you're looking at doing is infinitely easier. Like TIG, all day you could do that easy. Flux core wire or MIG, all day very easy. Stick, not really the best process, but doable. But expect to be frustrated and fail a ton. But hey, it is doable. And if that's what you got, make it work. So with that said, thanks for sticking around. Until next time.